This is Ingrid and Maska. Maska is a three-year-old Husky Malamute cross and she's just going to be our model today. Uh, we're going to talk about knee injuries. Sometimes you hear veterinarians call that the stifle, but that's just a word, another word for knee. Uh, lots of people are familiar with knee problems because uh, anterior cruciate ligament or ACL injuries are a very common occurrence both in humans and in the dog. In fact, in the dog, they're the most common orthopedic injury that we encounter. The anterior cruciate ligament is an important ligament inside the knee and it stabilizes the knee joint and prevents movement of the knee uh, in this direction here. So this is the tibia, this is the femur, that's the kneecap, quadriceps tendon, patellar ligament, and normally the femur sits here on the tibial plateau at the back of the tibia and in the deficient cruciate ligament deficient dog the tibia slides forward the femur femur falls backwards off the tibial plateau and they don't like to weight bear um, if they have a complete rupture they'll be three leg lame if they have uh, a partial tear they will walk more on the other hind leg over time uh, that will lead to degenerative joint disease and more problems in the in the knee as time goes by and a couple different techniques that are used to repair it. One is the lateral suture technique. This particular uh, model has been repaired using a special type of lateral suture called a tightrope technique, where the uh, suture material that's put uh, along here to replace the deficient cruciate ligament is anchored using uh, small uh, bone plates through bone tunnels on the tibia and the femur, making it very uh, solid that way. The other method that's used, especially in young active dogs, is a TPLO, where we change the angle on the top of the tibia to remove the forces that stress the cruciate ligament and uh, that's a very good way to restore full activity to uh, young healthy dogs and uh, have them live a long and active lifestyle afterwards. Uh, further information about cruciate ligament rupture and treatment options can be found on our website um, www.petsarrpassion.com.